there's there's people following and filming me. Uh, I don't know. But. ended him up in this seat today. Um, he was investigated because he was good at his job, frankly. He, he got, um, he had exclusive content of the, uh, uh, in the coverage of the, of the death of Jeff Dodge, including the police report. And, um, and that led to a whole lot of events. But I David Snyder, I'm the executive director of the First Amendment Coalition. So David, why don't you talk about why you think this case is important, why you're here today? I'm here today because my organization has filed a motion to unseal the search warrant application in this case. The reason we think that's important is that it's of crucial importance to understand what the police department told the judge who issued these warrants. Was the judge aware that Brian Carmody was a journalist, uh, or was that um, uh, withheld from the judge. Okay, you stand up. Stand up. Yes, sir. I'm out of here. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Yes, sir. Get on oh, your yes, stomach. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. I see safety. I see a uniform, it stands for something. And if behind that uniform is someone who is hurting another human uh, unjustly, uh, I have a problem with it. Stop it! Are you guys doing? Stop it! Stop it! Stop messing with the You're not you're helping me. Don't turn the phone off. Don't turn the phone off. You're gonna wait. No, you're turning the phone off. What are you guys doing? You just broke my finger. You broke my finger. Sit down. What the hell is wrong with you people? This is no way to be driven at a courthouse. I haven't done anything but look up family okay. court records. Let, let you go. Let, relax. You have no right to detain me, to stop me, to do any of this stuff. Right now. She has phone. every right to record right now. Shh. I want my phone. You're not going to get your phone. I want my phone. You're not going to get your phone. Take a look. I already told you how this is going to work. I want my phone. You're not going to get it. You are taking my phone. You're That's an illegal search phone. and seizure of my phone. What is yes. a search? Tell me what a search is. Tell me what a search is. You're withholding my property. You're searching my phone. 
How am I touching your phone? Am I going through your property? Your, you are holding no, my phone. You don't even know, you don't even know what to talk yes, about. Yes, I don't even know. You look up court records. This, this is an absolute joke, this, guys. Is this how you press this, up against people? We, we don't need everybody else. No. We have done nothing wrong in here. Uh, I need your name, please, sir. You're a witness. My name is Joshua Seymour. Seymour, do you have a case in, the, in here? Can you spell it for me, please? Thank you for... Uh, by the way, you broke my finger. Look at, look at my finger. I'm not going to talk to you any further. That's fine. Joshua Seymour, can you spell it, please? Joshua, can you spell your last name, please? Okay. So, I have her phone. Mm-hmm. We got a call from from no, uh, court out saying that he's taking the picture. He has Stop my phone. I want my phone. It's a journalistic phone. I'm doing research in here, and he has my phone. He is withholding my phone. Okay, I got that. Turn that off, sir. Please. No, I'm not sitting down. He has my phone. Who are you with? Who are you with? Who are you with? Who are you? I'm with the district attorney's office. I'm Sean Webby. Nice to meet no, you. No, thank you. Okay. Who are you with? Who are you with? I heard you said. Thanks. But I mean, I'm a, I'm a I'm a private citizen. Okay. Okay. What what are you what are you filming? Um, whatever I want in public. For what? For whatever I want. Okay. Is that weird? What do you want? Is freedom in America weird to you? Absolutely not. I love freedom. Thank you. Love it. God bless America. That's right, bro. I was a journalist for 25 years. I believe in freedom of speech. I do. Awesome. Thank All you. All right. Have cool. a great day. Good, good stuff. Thank you. I see a uniform, I see safety. I see a uniform, it stands for something. And if behind that uniform is someone who is hurting another human uh, unjustly, uh, I have a problem with it. And when we get search warrants, which allow us to uh, open phones and look for specific evidence, the search warrants lay out what in particular we can look for because people's cell phones have all kinds of information on it and search warrants are constructed specifically to comply with the California Electric Communications Privacy Act to be specific as to what we uh, can look at on the cell phone. Is there any way that can be enforced, Mr. Rosen? I mean, other than the honor system, basically? Well, number one, when you, when somebody is looking on a, a phone, there's a record of what is being looked at. And so uh, if your question is, is there a, can a group of individuals engage in a conspiracy to violate the law? Um, the answer is yes. And that's why I'm employed as the district attorney, because people do that quite often. So. Uh, but what you're relying on here is the fact that there is a record of what people look at. And if people are looking at things that they shouldn't be looking at, that's a violation of the court's order. So.
Do you have any comment about your attorneys discussing evidence out in the court, in the outside the courtroom, which I heard and took notes on, related to witnesses that you wanted to preclude from testifying at the board? Well, you shouldn't be overhearing or eavesdropping. It wasn't a mistake, sir. Attorney-client conversation. Sir, that's wrong. He's represented by the IDO. That's ineffective counsel for you to be having privileged conversation in a public conversation when there was a media request. Well, for you to be eavesdropping too. Hey, I was sitting in a public place right, right. next to you, e and you were having a conversation. Right, Chuck Smith with Valley Hatton. Stuart Kirsch, Amir Allen. Evidence that you were given in the Houghton case? Do you recall that you were sent evidence, additional information that Valerie Houghton was conspiring with you to get out of her criminal proceedings? Returning uh, subpoenaed records. Oh yes, the box of records. Uh, Mr. Lively, and then also I had uh, inquired whether the court file showed any other uh, SDTs and you indicated there are none, so I'll follow up. Hi, Sean. Hi. I'm Susan Bassey. Oh, hi, Susan. How are you? I'm doing okay. I want to talk to you about Heather Allen. Uh, I'm not going to talk to you at all. I don't like being recorded. I know. A lot of us don't like being recorded. You're recorded every time you go in that courthouse. You know that, right? No comment. Ready? Go. Okay. I'm outside the uh, Santa Clara County the Criminal Courthouse. I just want to make sure. I, what is your name again? Stacy Capps. Stacy Caps. Okay, so you're telling me that the county received state, federal, and other money for victim services. And talk to Mr. Stadlin. Okay, Mr. St what I'm saying to you is, I don't know if you were a named victim in a current case in the DA's office. It, there are allegations of a crime, and that's all you need in Marcy's Law. Allegations of a crime pending. For you to get an advocate from our office is what yeah. you're saying. Would you like me to help you with Marcy's Law? Okay, so I'm done. Okay. And um, I'm going to ask you to leave. And I'm trying to file to a letter to Miss Hendrickson. Are you I will asking? be happy to give this to Miss Hendrickson. Thank you. I appreciate it. What's your name, ma'am? My name is Susan Bassey. Miss Bassey, um, I wanted to let you know that because you're represented by an attorney and our office is prosecuting you, we can't meet with you without your attorney present. Is this I'm not here. Dimitri Stadlin? I am not here. And what is your name? I'm James Kevin Shapiro, who I think you know. Oh, I do. I actually just filed a bar complaint against you because you said my records request was actually a discovery request, which is not true because I'm now looking for every time your office reported attorneys that were charged with crimes under Business and Professions Code 6101, and that has nothing to do with my case. I'm not going to talk with you about Recording. Right now, I am trying to do my job. Stop recording. I heard you. Okay. Stop recording. I heard you. When I was growing up, my family didn't have a dog. 
Other kids in the neighborhood had a dog. So one day I asked my dad, why don't we have a dog? And my dad said, because they used hunts on us. Meaning that the Nazis used dogs to attack and intimidate my family, my dad and my grandmother, during the three years that they spent in Nazi concentration camps. It's important that journalists show um, objectivity and not participating is not tantamount to doing nothing. I think that it's going to be increasingly important in the next four years to stand by journalists and stand by their rights to publish. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that they can say whatever they want. With that said, you got to protect publishing if you want to protect anything else. Mr. Borsky, would you like to talk to me about the time that you called in on a radio show when Jeff Rosen was running for district attorney and tried to disguise your voice and pretend that you were a supporter of his? Have we met? Are no, you, would you like to are meet? Are you the infamous Susan Bassey? I am Susan Bassey. We've never met before. No, we haven't. I have followed your career, though. Thank you. No, I don't really want to speak to you. You don't? No. Is there a reason for that? Would you support your boss even if you knew he was engaging in prosecutorial misconduct? Mr. Borsky, would you support your boss? Borsky refused to answer my questions at the press conference regarding Bambi Larson when I was asking questions on behalf of victims. Mr. Rosen, what do you have to say about people telling you that you're all Mr. Rosen, how much did it cost you to go to Germany to have bodyguards to keep you from the press? Sir, who employs you? Mr. Rosen, how much did it cost you to go to Germany to talk about the prisons in Germany and then quash the, the sheriff's budget and claim that you're serving victims when you know you're not? Mr. Rosen, you are failing victims in this county. You are lying about what you are doing. You are stealing state and federal money. Mr. Rosen, who is paying your goons to protect you? Armin, let down the victim. Have a nice day. You too, Mr. Rosen. And how much are you paying your bodyguards? I guess we'll be doing a records request for that. I hope your children will be proud of your legacy, Mr. Rosen. I don't think they will be when I get done. 